Hi and welcome to My Quaint Cottage. Today we are going to do a curriculum flip through. This is one of my favorite subjects of all time, science. The curriculum that we are talking about today is Christian Kids Explore Earth and Space. Keeping in mind that this is a Christian based curriculum, we're going to look at the table of contents. We've got the author's notes, how to use this book, very, very informative. Unit 1, Getting Started, Lesson 1, Earth's Creation, Lesson 2, Facts About Earth and Its Structure. Then we have the Unit 1 Wrap-Up, so that's going to also entail a test. Now, I'm not going to read the whole table of contents. You can find that information online. I will have links to the publisher as well as Rainbow Resources. They usually have a little bit of information on there as well. So at the beginning of the unit, they give you a little overview. There is vocabulary and materials needed for that section. There's also a coloring page that you can print out from your companion CD. For children who actually like to color, I like to print this out and put it at the beginning of their notebook. It just makes it really interesting, really easy to grab, really eye-catching, especially if they use a lot of different colors. Now the first page that I want to introduce you to, this is Unit 1, Lesson 2, Facts About Earth. We have Structures of the Earth Diagram here. We've got these vocabulary words. We've got the reading. Over here is activity list. Flipping ahead, we're looking at plate tectonics in this section. On this page, we're looking at caves. Here's stalactites, stalagmites. We've got a review it section. After you read, you've got questions to make sure you understand the reading. Here we also have some more vocabulary. This is very vocabulary heavy. So here is an example of a hands-on activity. Each section does have its own hands-on activity and here we have simulate a volcanic eruption. That's always loads of fun. Here is another type of hands-on activity that they're doing. So here is make a sedimentary rock. This is to visualize the layers of sediment that combine to make one rock. And we're going to be making chocolate nut layer bars. So on this page we're doing a really cute younger student activity on evaporation. We are acting out evaporation by pretending that we are water and we are going to use a sliding board. The ground is the ocean and the top of the sliding board is the air and we're going to evaporate ourselves. Uh, by climbing the ladders and then condensation occurs in the clouds and we are going to per be precipitation and slide down the slide. So that is a very good representation of the water cycle. Here we have a groundwater experiment. And just to show you that this is not in any way, shape, or form a baby science curriculum, here we, we see all of these vocabulary words. Now they do have to copy. In my classroom, we copy all these, we write the definitions, we keep them in a separate place so we can refer back to them, and we do a lot of work with vocabulary. In this example, we're making a barometer, so you can see there are so many hands-on activities, which is one of the things I love. There's also charts. There are a lot of charts in these science books. This particular chart is cloud characteristics, so it tells you the height of the cloud, the cloud name, features, and contains, so whenever we go outside, just going on a trip somewhere or doing errands, we can look up and start identifying our clouds. We're making a tornado in a bottle. Here's another nice, um, nice table on this page. This one is about scale of tornado intensity. And here is our tornado in a bottle hands-on activity to illustrate to help them understand. I'm going to show you a little bit of what's in the appendix because that really sh helps you to understand what's going to be on your resource CD. So in addition to the questions um, and the coloring sheets that are in the book, then the, the, uh, the printable CD also has this daily reading sheet, 
field trip journals, check it out, experiment forms, this sort of thing, all these other types of forms and charts. I love this lunar observation chart and this weather observation chart. Such good resources, things that the kids can do. Even if it's something that they're really interested in, they can continue to do this even after that particular unit is finished. And they could like chart out the whole year or you know, with the weather or the moon, whatever their interest is. And here's Earth Structure. And just, these are such good resource worksheets for the kids to have, stalactites, stalagmites. Here's your columns and here's, you know, your picture of your cave, all of this. They are such good resources. Here's your volcano. So that just gives you a little bit of an idea of what's going on in this curriculum. And we will find the printable CD on the back. That's where all of the printables are, the consumable part of this book. As always, I hope your homeschool is a blessing and have an awesome day. Bye-bye.